sodium is basically the handler, uh, is the handle that the body uses for ECF volume. And why ECF volume is important, uh, if you want to remember it in one line, uh, volume is to do with pressure. Volume is to do with pressure, generally speaking. ECF volume is to do with art arterial blood pressure or simply blood pressure. So you increase ECF volume, blood pressure goes up. You decrease ECF volume, blood pressure goes down. Then water balance is to do with osmolarity. Okay, why osmolarity is important? Osmolarity has all sorts of uh, effects on uh, cell volume and, uh, uh, and subsequently uh, the way the cell would behave. So that that is basically handled by uh, handling water. And a very cool thing is, uh, this can also be asked in, a, in an assessment, what is the single effect? Uh, the single effect is, uh, you can remember it by remembering the phrase singling out, single out uh, the solute from the solvent. So the body has this ability but, uh, of, uh, of separating sodium from water. Now this is, you may, you may think what's the big deal here? It is a big deal, okay? Because sodium is a very effective osmol, which basically means that it doesn't travel alone. It takes up water around it, uh, surrounding it. When in a specific situation, you only need to uh, reabsorb water and not let sodium drag with it or reabsorb sodium. And, and uh, you really are not bothered about the water. Uh, this ability, is uh, available for you in the kidney. And this is called the single effect.